Uh, let me briefly describe her significant contributions in sustainable development. Under the leadership of Dr. Gro Harlem Brundtland, the UN World Commission on Environment and Development, WCED, this is better known as the Brundtland Commission, published its history-making report, Our Common Future, in 1987, as a culmination of an international effort involving hundreds of experts and stakeholders. The term sustainable development was coined in the report and defined as follows. Sustainable development is development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. This watershed concept definition laid out the scientific and technical challenges for the global community in the effort to strike a better balance of economic development, environmental integrity, and social equality. The direct result of the Brundtman Report was the 1992 United Nations Conference on Environmental and Development. This is known as UNCD, also known as the Earth Summit in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Brundtland and members of her commission play key roles in the summit. Among other results, the summit produced a comprehensive plan known as Agenda 21, which provided guided actions to be taken globally, nationally, and locally in order to make life on Earth more sustainable. The summit also initiated the most important international agreement for climate change, the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. This is known as a UNFCCC which led to the Kyoto Protocol. The Brundtland Report and Earth Summit have continued to influence subsequent UN conferences, including United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development. Uh, this is Rio Plus 20 and the Conference of Parties, COP meetings. In 2007, she was signed as United Nations Special Envoy on climate change to assist the Secretary General to progress the international negotiation among governments and organizations to a post-Kyoto Protocol climate change treaty. In 2010, she was a member of UN Secretary General's high-level panel on global sustainability, which provided the report, Brazilian people, Brazilian planet, a future was choosing. We continue to inspire action toward the future we want, adopted at Rio Plus 20, and suggest options for a sustainable future for humanity. During her tenure as the Director General of the World Health Organization from 1998 to 2003, she focused on promoting sustainable and equitable health systems in all countries to combat disease and ill health. Under her leadership, the WHO addressed effectively global pandemics such as AIDS, malaria, and SARS. Dub, the godmother of sustainable development, Dr. Go Gro Harlem Brundtland has been the global leader in promoting sustainable development for the benefit of humanity for more than 30 years. And we're really very pleased that we give the award to Brundtland and she accepted it and will be coming to Taiwan in later in September. Gro Harlem Brundtland Fuzen this is 
布兰特兰委员会，有鉴于当时全球过度开发与环境资源过度消耗，认为人类必须面对这些重要的挑战。一九八七年，他在联合国大会上发表了《我们共同的未来》，就是我我呃 Common Future 的报告。此一文献又称为。布兰特兰报告，在国际数百位专家学者和利益相关者的经验与智慧集思广益下，正式将永续发展定义如下：永续发展是一种发展模式，既能满足我们现今的需求，同时又不损及后代子孙满足他们的需求。永续发展此一定义与观念，奠定了人类永续发展的基础，提出了方向与挑战，以及你善用科学和技术，努力在人类经济发展、环境保护和社会公益三者之间，寻求发展上的均衡。伦特伦报告的直接影响是，一九九二年在巴西里约热内卢召开的第一届。联合国环境与发展大会，这是叫 UNCED， 也叫做地球高峰会 （Earth Summit）。永续发展的理念，地球高峰高峰会进一步将之规划成具体的行动方案，而且订定并发布了《二十一世纪议程》（就是 Agenda Twenty One）。视之为人类迈向永续发展的蓝图。全球各国和各地等不同层级，已将该蓝图用为永续发展的最高等指标原则，使之直接影响了全人类未来代代永续的发展。在地球高峰会上，联合国首处也讨论了。全球气候变迁的相关问题，订定了重要的国际协议，如《联合国气候变迁框架公约》（就是 UNFCCC） 及《京都协议》（Port Kyoto Protocol） 等，建议致力于延缓或降低人类所受气候变迁的冲击。文章报告与地球高峰会。持续影响其往后联合国的重要会议，如二十年后的联合国永续发展会议，就是 Rio Plus Twenty 和 Conference of Parties COP 会议等。两千零七年，布伦特兰夫人受联合国秘书长任命为气候变迁特使，任务是协助秘书长。进行各国政府和各组织之间的国际谈判，以推动《后京都议定书》气候变化条约。两千四年，他被任命为联合国秘书长的永续发展高层小组成员，提出人类对未来永续发展的选项建议，以继续激励行动。迈向卢尤加二十大会中所决议的，我们希望的未来，就是 the future we want。啊，这是中文的解释。现在在这里补充一下。